Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously allowed our association members to gather for an international seminar. It was a joyous occasion as Master and disciples reunited to meditate and pray for peace. During this precious time, Supreme Master Ching Hai also spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of our association members. The following is the continuation of a story of an Indian saint told by Supreme Master Ching Hai with the theme, God is Always Inside, which took place on August 26, 2008 during the International Seminar. We were talking about Guru Amadas, who was already 72 years of age when he met his master. And his master is who else but his own brother next door. <laughs> All this time, <laughs> waited until he's 72 years old, doesn't even know where <laughs> the God-man lives. Because most people take things for granted. In India, I knew one of the master. He never let any disciples stay longer than six months. So anyway, this is a typical thing of the mind. Whatever is too near, we cannot see very well. And uh, whatever is easy, we think is not valuable. Suppose some stone would be as rare as diamond, then we'll be paying for it <laughs> more than diamond. And I heard that they collected diamonds, a lot of them, but they hide them first. <laughs> so it's not in abundance, because if it is in abundance, maybe people will want it cheaper. Then how come Guru Angad, even though he's his brother, but uh, why do you think he gave him initiation at the age of 72? Most uh, of the time. 60, 65 is the maximum. Tell me, anybody knows? Why so old can still get initiation? Huh? Oh, the wise Buddha sitting there? Sincerity? sincerity? Mm, well, everybody is sincere <laughs> at that age. <laughs> I'm sure he knows what he wants already. <laughs> If at that age <laughs> you still uh, like, uh, dilly dally about whether you should get initiation to save yourself or not, <laughs> I don't think we can ever be sincere anymore. <laughs> huh? At that time, you should be very lucky if somebody gives you initiation, <laughs> sincere or not. Family member. Family member? <laughs> Are there such thing in a guru's uh, house? No. No family member stuff. Even his daughter wanted to see him and had to wait until he calls. And even already uh, feeling adventurous due to the sincerity of that old man, she still say, you stay here, I go get his permission first. So the, the master must have been very strict. Yeah. Well, that's the only thing to, to really keep the disciple in discipline, you know? because we are so unruly. We get used to with being unruly like a horse without direction, already running all over like a wild horse already. And if you come to a guru and your guru also say, oh, never mind, do what you want, <laughs> then you never do anything. Yeah? You go to the beach, you come home, you sleep, and then you go eat, you go back sleep again. You will not meditate that much. Uh, maybe the level is high. In a level is high? Okay, perhaps, but that's not it, yeah? Destiny. Destiny? Oh, well, maybe. What else? He's a rich man. Trained. By whom? <laughs> By experience. Life experience. Life experience. Oh, God, it does take a long time until 72. <laughs> Goodness sake. <laughs> Life experience. <laughs> the yearning for an answer? Aren't we all 
Even the, the people are yearning, but 72, they're 72, no? Then he's an uh, already a vegetarian and follows the Pusa. Ah, yeah, that would be it, I guess, yes. Because that's the minimum requirement, no? Yeah. And mostly when people are too old, it's difficult for them to adopt vegetarian diet. Uh, maybe cannot. And uh, in India, it's not the same. He can drag his old body from <laughs> Punjab all the way up to the pilgrimages, and 20 of them. <laughs> so uh, he could sit long also, I guess. He's healthy. He has been vegetarian all his life. Indian, many of them are vegetarian majority. Until later on, we have other kind of religions come in, so people became less vegetarian people. The tradition has been a little bit wavering. Otherwise, before, most Indian people are vegetarian. So he must have been vegetarian all his life. And he's such a healthy guy, <laughs> climbing 20 pilgrimages. <laughs> And all the time, he's living nearby his brother who's a God-realized person, and he could not realize it. And his nephew's wife always reciting something, and he has never paid attention, reciting the, the Holy Scripture, and he has never paid attention until then. Hmm. So I guess his time is up, and what a long time he has to wait. You lucky. How old are you? Forty-seven? You look like twenty. <laughs> so young, no wrinkle, nothing. Yeah. Good skin. Mm. I've seen you for twenty years now, and she looked the same like yesterday. You practice well, you stay young long. Before you came here, there were two Taiwanese came in here. Before I even came, so I came and see them. Mm. Everybody tried to help in different ways. The guys who know electricity check out the sockets and all that. And the guys who know how to connect to television is do climbing on the roof, <laughs> setting the disc. Everybody is doing something. And uh, make the road, plant the trees and buying stuff. Everybody helped so it gone quickly. Now these two gentlemen, one of them, okay.